Letting go to walk, right? Not today? Okay, you take your time. No, no rush. Love you. Dancey, dancey. Good morning, MTM fam. Yes, it is Sunday and I am staring out at a beautiful pile. Well, let me just show you. Yep. It's almost the same height as a house. But we are making progress for sure. The wonderful team at Mathon Roofing have been working over the weekend and they came and they worked all day Saturday. I am looking forward to it being done sooner rather than later, but it's kind of nice to see like the progress on each section because it just makes it seem a little bit more bearable and attainable every time a section gets done it's like okay next section and you know what to expect and it's beautiful so yeah anyway it is sunday today and like i always like to say let's see what happens today okay guys i am on my way to go and pick up something at the pharmacy and then pick up some stuff for dinner um you know sometimes one of the kids will ask to come and uh you know for example this morning atlas said mom can i come with you no problem atlas i said but please do not tell jackson um i'm not taking the both of them because jackson's a little bit under the weather and i want him to get back and i can't take ozzy because it just gets too chaotic so i said go ahead get ready don't say anything to the boys and let's go but he can't help himself and so he has to go to Jackson and annoy him and say oh Jackson and he does it like this watch him let Tinkim smart Jackson go into the supermarket you need anything well you know I just shut it down I said nope I that's exactly what I told you not to do and you've done it so you've won yourself a prize you get to stay home he's inside crying but let me tell you maybe there are a thousand different ways to deal with this this is how i'm choosing to deal with it but this is what parenting looks like like it will happen over and over and over and over again until one day it just clicks for them but it can't go unnoticed or undone or unsaid because he'll just always do it you know and it's such a shame because we had such a good night with him last night um but at the same time you know this is what it looks like parenting Atlas, Jackson, Oz, Geo, Ivy. Day to day, you have to literally be fighting different battles. So with Oz right now, it's he gets into major temper tantrums. Like you guys never see it on here, but he gets into major temper tantrums when he can't get what he wants. Yeah, it's like the terrible um, threes going on to be a four mess. <laughs> I don't know what you call him when they're four. And then with Atlas, our challenge with him is that whenever he um, doesn't get what he wants, he gets very smart mouthed, you know, very lippy. Guys, it's all a thing. Anyway, I wanted to go back on my word just now and just say, all right, come in the car. But the next time it happens, my word won't mean anything. And I keep trying to remember that, that like, it's not about how many times, you know, we do things. It's about how many times we keep our word when we say something, you know, within reason, obviously. But yeah. All right. Heading out now. So see you in a few. I'm sure Wayne will pick up inside. All right, guys. So we are up and running on this Sunday. Yesterday was the Hummingbirds choir show that me and Tessie sang on and featured and it was good really good we'll have some footage and 
I think it's a good time right now to throw to that footage so you can see what the show was about. Okay, so we are at our sound check for our show that we have. Me and Tess is singing later. So we're here at JC Auditorium. We did our rehearsals and everything. So now it's the final sound check at the venue. So it's like a dress rehearsal without dress up. <laughs> so we're there going oh, yeah. taking the vibes. See Mr. Chin there in element. Mr. Chin are working up, pops are work. And you know everything and getting everything right. So a whole heap of singers and a whole heap of vocals to mix. Mr. Chin serious you know, like a principal with him and working him send that to everybody. To them man, you have a dance? No. Why? Come, let me go there. Let me go there. Come on. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell Grandpa and Nana what Mommy did. So what Grandpa and Nana are going to do? I'm going to punish her. <laughs> but punish her. Yeah. Grown her. <laughs> Grown her. Grown her. Oh God, it ain't easy though. Love you. Can I get a hug? No. Please? No, I want Mommy to stay home. Let me get a hug now, bro. Can you take me somewhere today, like fun land? Oh, fun land. You see your face? Your face favor fun land. <laughs> Please, daddy, can you take me to fun land today? I don't know. I don't know about that. Yes, daddy, you have to take me to fun land. No, we don't have any plans of such. Can we go to the beach? The, a beach you want to reach? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Your chest is very high. <laughs> MTM family, me just there a whole a little Sunday meditation. Hear the meds. You can't change your life unless you change something in your life. Don't want the biggest dreams and be afraid to make bold steps towards getting your dreams. Don't just sit down there in a the situation and say, yo, I want my life change and just across your fingers so, and I hope and pray. Faith without works is dead or death. I'm not so sharp on the Bible quote them. 
But don't just leave your life to chance, people. Trust me. If you want change, you have, you have to change. And I'm going to leave you with this. If you always do what you always did, you will always get what you always got. Get up and get something new. Get something different. Change yourself and change your life. Do you ever go and you wake up? Bad. You don't think you're cooking. Hot dog, you cook by you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of man this, you bad? The man is a giant in the people. One hot dog can't do. Got to be two. Got to be. You know that video there? Got to be. Um, want you? What? Can I get tan? <laughs> My youth, you so favor tang. You so orange like tang. Eh? Can I have it? <laughs> you see your face? How can I say no to that face? Very good. No, hold that properly, please. Thank you. I'm gonna do the bob walk now. Hey, 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 hey. Bob walk. Bob walk. From <laughs> Kingston Street to Bob walk. Hello. Hi, my sweetie. Hi, my sweet boy. Mm. Where they going? Hi, sweet girl. Uh, uh, Hi. Uh, uh, Here, catch up in a one. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ivy. Ivy. Hi, hey, Mama. Hi, Mama. Today's another great day to start walking. Hi. Yes. Yeah. Today's a lovely day to begin your walking journey. See, they're standing up strong. You just need to step off and go. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, what do you say? Yeah. You're going to teach her to walk? Yeah. Are they stop making a go road by yourself, you know? It takes so long. My girl. I didn't run away doing nothing though. I had to get things. No, that was I what? Every, no, I go and no, sir. I can't roll it for so long and stay. Next time I take you with you. You go somewhere else. Several places. That rough. <laughs> this oh, mom, did you go to the you put an air tag for me. Mom, did you go to the Hi, Mumsy. Hi, Mumsy. Wait, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> I'm sorry, where she was. I'm sorry, where she was. King. Where are you, mommy? Yes. <laughs> where are you? But, Mom, Mom, you're not telling me, sir. Ingredients come for make uh, name me. To make bread fruit oh. juice. <laughs> Dad, yeah, all right, we're gonna tell them something. Dad, mom, pack people oh. over on threads. Tell me them never hear about bread fruit, bread fruit juice, bread fruit punch, whatever they want to call it. Mommy. Yeah, but uh, everybody on YouTube said so them know. Them know about it. Yeah. yeah. Soon, I'm soon open it for you. I'll make a popsicle. Look like a two different audience. Two different set of people. I want to yeah, I tell you. So later we're gonna do breadfruit juice. I don't like call it juice, breadfruit punch tasting. Yeah. At the tasting later we tell you the outcome. Alright, we're making popsicles for the kids. But Jamaica style, so you know so you just mix up a bag of something. When we were like we used to make sock sock in a bag, but nowadays they have these nice molds. Um, that you can make an actual popsicle, so let's do it. Um, Jack's Atlas, come and pour the syrup. No, don't climb on the fridge, us. And when you're making popsicle, you know, you have to kind of make it sweetish. As you come help me, pour look what you're doing. Keep going. 
All right. Yeah. After super sweet, you know. This Mommy. is not empty and a family of food. Mm -hmm. You should get a stir. Stir, stir, stir. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. Susie, Mamsi, you want to come out? You want to come out? Okay, come. Come, come. Yo, Gio, today Jamaica play Guatemala, you know. Gold Cup quarters, you know. What time you have rehearsal? Six. Six. It's four o'clock the match start, bro. Ah. Hello. That. Hello. <laughs> well, they do have rehearsal today because um, Voice Box is performing at Amalgamation. Yeah. At their gala performance this week with the Phil Harmonic Orchestra. Orchestra. I almost said the Phil Harmonic. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> so rehearsal today. I'm excited. You're my first time singing with a orchestra. orchestra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you beat me to it. I've never done that. Amazing. Did you tell everybody what last night are doing? I did. Okay. You like the show last night? Gio was at the show. Do you like the show? Yeah, Gio was our, our, our filming. Wicked vibes, yo. <laughs> I was like, yo, gospel music have powers. Like it can literally move your story, your soul. Yo. Yeah, man, a real thing, man. Dope. Real thing. Ready, Snuggy Boogie? Come. Mm. You might be at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't call it work, though, you know what I'm saying? I just part of your thing. It's a perk. It's a perk. <laughs> That's that works. Work. It's a perk. That is work. Work would be like bank clerk. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a chicken a jerk. No. Or a chicken a jerk. Yeah. Uh, I can hear your brains ticking. Ticking. Ticking at work. <laughs> No, it is not done. Like when you, note to self, this is a warning. If you are gonna make popsicles at your house, don't tell your picnic them. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it without warning. Because it can only breed question. Then they're ready Mommy, for the process. Mommy, is the popsicle ready yet? That is another word. If you are not ready for the process, don't bother start. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, guys. So we have the breadfruit punch, as we're calling it, going in here. There is breadfruit that was boiled. It was ripe. Supplegen and Guinness more. Yes. Your what are you going to use to sweeten it? Or is it the con? Okay, condensed milk as well as the supplegen is already sweet. And she's going to be doing, of course, um, vanilla and nutmeg. Um, I'm not sure if she may put oats or anything in there too, but we'll see. I even hear some people say that they put rum in it. See, she said like a rum can go in there. Oh, you're putting some oats in there too. All right, do you, boo? It is. But do. I like it. You sure you put breadfruit in this? Hmm? You sure you breadfruit in this? What's the breadfruit? You want to taste it? <laughs> yeah, give me a taste, of course. Tell me I forget the real taste. Not a taste of it tastes like rum and thick. Tell Tommy, come taste it. No, I can't. This is a different vibe. Alright, good boy. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Meaning it's good, but. Yeah, it, it have I'm a not shrimp. running to drink it. And, no. what, and I just feel like. It have a shrimp, though. You serve your drink slow. Mm -mm. I definitely don't like it. I would have sipped it. I would have taken so, I just think uh, it tastes like breadfruit. And, and go on, book back. It tastes good enough, but it's not. It it it's has not. the essence of breadfruit, but it's not overpowering breadfruit I flavor. I can understand why people drink it. Mm -hmm. It have a thickness to it. Nice. Yeah. 
It's time to wake up baby. He's already awake. Hi Ivy. Hi sweetie. You see Ozzy. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Yes. Oh no. There we go. I just I had a moment you. where I took cupcakes out of the oven and you know i remember as a kid wishing that we had cupcakes or was baking cupcakes or you know i always kind of like that stuff and always wanted to be that mom and i guess when we were kids it wasn't as a it wasn't on our priority list to be buying cupcake mix B, it wasn't readily uh, available. I don't remember. Um, well, yeah, I'm sure we had Betty Crocker stuff, but I'm just saying, like, cupcake mix in a box. It was, you know, um, more than likely we were making it from scratch. But I just didn't have the baking mom. But she used to cook, but not really bake. So I'm not, like, a bake from scratch kind of person, but I do like to, to do those little fun things sometimes and when i do i have to kind of like recognize oh you're doing the things that you wanted to do and i only say this to say that you know if you're not careful you don't realize when you're doing having being all the things you want set out to do have or be and sometimes you have to like take stock and look at the simple small things and be like oh yeah 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 you're doing good pat on the back yeah it's just what some cupcakes might teach you on a sunday <laughs>